Hello, beta testers. This is what an animated calling card looks like in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, released in 2015. And on the right, you can see the quote, animated nameplate the developers of Marvel's Avengers are proud to showcase will soon be available for purchase. So, Black Ops 3 from 2015. That's all I'm saying. Black Ops 3, 2015. That's a, that's a fact, look that up. So not one, two, three, or four, but five, six years ago? And this is what y'all have managed in the time between then and now? Wow. Lazy. Pathetic. A glitter filter that a phone can instantly throw on a video for Instagram or Snapchat, but this isn't even a video, it's a static image, no movement, and they were shockingly proud enough of this to expect applause from the couple hundred ass kissers and shills on Twitch who have yet to be banned for voicing any real opinions on this eight month broken trash. But even with Crystal Dynamics and their selected moderators grooming people to regard any criticism as hate, banning frustrated people over bugs, silencing people who have anything critical to say, you're only making their voices louder because you can't silence these people, stupid. And most importantly, you need them. You need the people. Oh, you can't. You need us. You need the people. Well, you bloody right, but I'd rather die than admit it. The subreddit's users were quick to show what an animated nameplate should and does look like in not just other games, but other Marvel games. And as usual, literally any other representation of Marvel aesthetically is better, looks closer, and is therefore more valuable. In my Discord, user Rogue mixed this up in minutes. This isn't their job, they're not employed to do this, and they certainly weren't expecting anybody to purchase it. I described this very idea in a stream reacting to it, and I know people would have been satisfied with even this exclusively, because, and this may be shocking to the staff watching, but fans and gamers buying a superhero game might just like the comic books, the movies, the TV shows. They may not be looking for your misguided and specific spin on heroes that have worked for 80 years without your help. Oh, but you want to pretend Kamala Khan is enough to sell this, pretend she's a favorite, sure. Yet paradoxically, you know you need to put Avengers on this box or it won't sell. You villain. Avengers game where you play as Thor for 15 minutes in campaign. You got away with that. Your life service has no end game. Two villains to fight. Whoa. One enemy faction. You put this out there for $60. Crystal Dynamics, you'll continue to find swaying the general sentiment surrounding this game as impossible as making this video game profitable with less than five minutes of effort on Snapchat. If ever you were looking for a single thing to point to and declare Crystal Dynamics lazy, this is it. And later in this video, I'll reveal a bombshell that might not be apparent to most people, but once you hear it, you won't be able to deny it. They did not say that these low-effort nameplates would be free. They, in fact, specified that only one of them would be a reward. What's profound is how blatantly clear even the game's biggest defenders were eight months ago in describing this game's piss-poor loot, the lack of endgame, the pathetic two villains and one enemy faction launch offering the ugly, knockoff, almost Marvel but legally distinct from Marvel superheroes? But two archers to come in eight months if only they knew. Ice this cake with months of bugs, removed features, game-breaking patches, increases to the grind. Two archers in a superhero game dropped three months apart, a literal wasteland added with only one mission to complete. Top this off with not just silence from the developers, but them joking about how long people will have to wait for anything resembling content in their Avengers game. Did you like Black Panther, Spider-Man? Maybe you're into Doctor Strange or Scarlet Witch, some magic and energy users, right? Too bad, no dates, we don't know, maybe, 
Mm, probably. We would love to do that. These developers unironically can't even commit to writing a single developer update detailing what they've been working on to tide people over while this live service continues to lack any meaningful content. Maybe, probably, they'll have to see. We'd love to do that. The memes that I crafted that people called me hateful for should make these clowns want to bow to me as a prophet because I couldn't have been more accurate if I had gone back in time and made them now. And if none of that's awful enough, then enjoy disrespect because you should just tolerate this dysfunctional game that you paid for. Because Koof, because fires, eight months broken. But your moderators are mocking players, rightfully upset that a patch that you released broke the game on their fucking platform? You didn't have the accountability to come out and say this is our problem, wait for us to fix it. You have this clown insinuating people need to mess with their fucking hard drive, posting a tutorial on how to do it. Of course the subreddit bitch max some sense into this bitch and say, what the fuck are you doing, homie? Oh, oh, my bad, let me edit my post. For you to turn around and mock people who might suggest compensation for the $60 game they purchased not functioning? Fortnite does this, Genshin Impact does this, and just in case this tone-deaf moderator needs more education, Outriders, by the same publishers, are planning a compensation package for all of the turmoil people have gone through, and since yo memory might need a refresher, Crystal Dynamics previously dropped a compensation package into the game back when we have to assume they gave more of a shit than they do now. It's called accountability, owning up to and acknowledging what shouldn't be what you're actively working on, and taking steps in the way of transparency by apologizing and building or reinforcing good faith among the people who bought this, and I'm just perplexed by every nook and cranny of this, it's aging like cheese. I've actively stayed away from Marvel movies, TV shows, comic books, and the glorious animated shows, because even mobile games would make me angry because they represent Marvel, real Marvel, sexy, functional, attractive Marvel. And this game, Crystal Dynamics, will never be that. It'll never be real Marvel. And your unconditional defenders will claim it doesn't need to be that. But my response is it does. <laughs> If you want it to be successful, especially it does. That's why, after eight months, you're finally admitting you need these MCU skins. But I dare you to just make them inspired. I dare you to not sexy up these models so they can actually look good in these suits. You're just giving more content at this point for this landfill. You know the bombshell that I mentioned earlier? It's so sad. But these apologist defenders don't understand that when Crystal Dynamics shows this to people, these, these animated nameplates, they're doing it to gauge their reaction. And these shills exclaim, Oh my god, it's awesome! I love it! It's such a win! It is what it is! They give the devs no reason to try harder. I've watched you stupid shills destroy your own game's potential, and if you were deliberately doing it, like on purpose, that would have been better than watching you hurt yourself in confusion like a wild animal. Even when you begrudgingly agree that the issues that I constantly bring to light need to be addressed, I'm toxic. Kyle's not nice enough, but I'm right, and I'd rather be me then watch you, instead of being neutral, pile on participation trophy tier credit for something that is objectively not worthy. Different people like different things, but as an artist, this is offensive. Objectively, it's insulting to the people capable of producing functioning and well-crafted products when Marvel's Avengers by Crystal Dynamics falls so well below the bare minimum. It's insulting to people who have understood and researched the field they're stepping into and are not so arrogant that they would ignore what people respond to. The difference between me and a defender is simple. 
If I had two buttons before me and one could make a million people start playing Avengers right now and the other would make a hundred thousand people start playing after there was content added, I choose the second button. Because hype with no content will not fix this game. Hype with no content will not retain players. Hype to a broken game will only assure some people are even less likely to return in the future and the well will be further poisoned with the negative word of personal experiences from the mouths of the players who knew enough to warn other people off this product. Insomniac's incredible Spider-Man game, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the upcoming dimension-defying Spider-Man movie uniting generations of properties that people came to know, to love. These celebrations of the lifetime, the 80-year legacies of characters that people love. It's what anime might refer to as fan service, an acknowledgement that the only reason that they even get to make something like this is because the fans have made it clear that it's what they're willing to consume and pay to do so. But not you, Crystal Dynamics. You know what people want because they beg you for it. You ban people who don't applaud your laziness. So I'll bark it on their behalf. Crystal Dynamics would rather refuse demand and supply what nobody requests. Pretty funny when you need to profit to survive. Pretty funny when you're sabotaging your future as a studio. Pretty funny when this skin in Fortnite's Battle Pass could generate more revenue than your whole ass game. Think about that. It's more appealing than you. In six months, Genshin Impact made a billion dollars. Yes, an insidious gotcha but any player can experience it for free and not have to pay a dime. And the amount of additions that they've made to that game would take you well over an hour just to watch concise trailers of what they're adding. If you like Marvel's Avengers and you want it to get better, the whole point of these videos has been to show you that you are not alone. Other people see what you see. They get banned and they have their posts removed for asking for acknowledgement, even memeing on this game has gotten their people shit, people shit kicked out of a community. But unless they ban all of us, the voice will still be heard. To the defenders boosting this video by commenting and disliking, thank you from the bottom of my heart. To the vocal fans still championing player cause in spite of the safe space that Crystal Dynamics is trying to cultivate. I congratulate and salute you. You are a real man of genius. Don't let them convince you you're evil for wanting something to work. They can't even get their purchase skins to work, for God's sake. I'm happy to see comments from those of you who have come to your senses, even if it took this long. And I intend no personal malice, disrespect, or anger towards any single Crystal Dynamics employee. I am judging this product and the treatment surrounding the consumers of this product unacceptable. I believe in gaming's future and look forward to people being given a platform to showcase passionate, masterful craft, real heroes, visionaries that secure a future for a medium that's come so far and stumbled and had struggles and clawed its way up from people dismissing it as just some bullshit for kids, some silly little jump on a, a Goomba type bullshit. Many people will never respect this art form, just as money motivated the military to see the reasonable application of simulations to train soldiers instead of putting billion dollar equipment on the line. You need to appeal specifically to these types of people. The same thing has happened with technology, but what you needed to have done was secure funding and have a budget to allow for the masterpieces that you want to make, to allow for your visions to be realized. You cast a wide net, you make it accessible to most, you appeal to many demographics, not just some. You cater to your fans, you cater to the gamers. 
you make fucking money. Two days ago, Genshin Impact released a trailer and its new story content, multiple characters, a goddamn Animal Crossing mode being thrown into the game. And all I wanted was some of the music from it because again, if people think that I'm some kind of hard ass, I have been moved to tears by Genshin Impact music. There aren't a lot of games that can do that, but you know, as a musician, I respect music in ways that acknowledge that it can touch people a hell of a lot easier than other art forms. In my search for the music from that two days ago trailer, I found a user who had arranged by ear the entire musical medley that fused a couple of songs in that trailer one day ago. One day ago. That's community. 8,000 views on this motherfucker. You know how they secured this community? With a good game. Crystal Dynamics' failure is by far, in this day and age, where creators have access to honest feedback from people who are furiously articulating their extremely concise points. You know how valuable it is to have somebody like me when you're trying to make money telling you what I would like and what I would pay for? But you're demonstrating sheer stupidity by ignoring people. The fans hand you lists of things that they would pay for. Fulfill these requests and more people will pay too. The people who pay will say, it's great, and more people will pay, and so on and so on. But you actively say, no. You're a villain, Crystal Dynamics. Beta testers, I love you. <sighs> Other people are going to hype up the probability of, of things potentially happening when they've been wrong so many times in the past. So I'm going to lean on what I have leaned on. Just because it seems like we've hit bedrock doesn't mean that they won't split the ground beneath our feet and make it worse. Show us Crystal Dynamics how you can do even worse than this.